while ago I did a kind of standalone video on a transmission jack adapter for a normal floor jack and I, I didn't actually think the video was gonna go anywhere I was just kind of doing it just kind of as a quick aside to maybe help some people out and well it was surprisingly popular for one of my videos which means it wasn't really very popular at all but compared to some of the rest of them it did okay I wanted to do a follow-up on that jack adapter because we have used it again since then and I thought that maybe just maybe anybody who saw the original video or anybody who's still looking to buy one or had any remaining doubts about it the first time around uh, you might be interested in well seeing where we are you know a year later or however long it's been with that adapter so let's take a look at uh, another job I just did recently with that and we'll kind of look again at some of the pros and cons on a little bit of a different kind of transmission So what we're going to be using it on is our uh, Jeep Cherokee project. And if you've watched anything else on our channel, we've got a ton of videos on that. You might be familiar with it. But anyway, we got to pull the transmission out. This is a four-wheel drive. It's, a, it's an AW4 uh, with a, I think, 231J transfer case. Anyway, it does weigh a good bit, but it's also an unbalanced weight. You know, the transfer case has some weight on one side and it's also longer and the center of gravity is different because of the transfer case and everything else that's attached to it. So I thought that would be interesting. We're still using the original adapter. I think it cost like 60 something dollars. It was the cheapest one I could find online. You can see all that on the original video. I kind of did a quick summary of that. And in the original one, I kind of mentioned, you know, uh, this isn't the best idea in the world. I just, I can't afford a real transmission jack at this point and well i'm still not at the point i can afford a good transmission jack once again this project came up and it needed to get done you know yesterday so i'm using what i have on hand which in this case is still my cheap jack adapter with my standard floor jack setup so the original one we were pulling a manual transmission out of a i think oh one uh chevy duramax diesel truck and that does weigh a lot but it was still you know a standard transmission weighted and balanced normally this one has a four-wheel drive with the transfer case attached so it's a little different so you know I thought people might be a little bit interested to see well how it works on you know a, a four-wheel drive combo unit in this case and also I didn't show an automatic transmission before the other one was a manual so this is also an automatic so it's a little different so in that respect you know I thought well you know maybe there's going to be something worth seeing in here so we're going to pull the transmission with the transfer case attached and because it's an automatic not a manual I can just pull it off the studs and drop it down because there's no uh, input shaft that's in the torque converter not there's no clutch so i don't have to pull it back off the input shaft i can just disconnect the torque converter and drop it so last time i used this i said there were some shortcomings and i was going to make some improvements well i did that i drilled and put a roll pin through this handle so it can't just turn on that shaft i also put a jam nut on the end here so that that nut doesn't back off well hopefully it won't back off and about three gallons of Loctite and I put a stabilization plate on the bottom here so hopefully there won't be any rocking you can still turn it but hopefully no rocking so I think we should be good maybe we still don't have two tilt axes not much I can do about that setup is complete let me give you a quick run through so we have the jack with the transmission adapter I had to take the rails off because in this case it's too, it's the pan's too wide for the rails. Now, if I flipped it this way, maybe like they intended it, yeah, the rails would fit. But then I could only adjust it this way. I can't adjust it front to back. So, yeah, there's that missing adjustment axis coming into play again. 
So for reference, this is an AW4 and a 1998 Jeep Cherokee with a 231 J, yeah, 231 J transfer case. I've left the drive shaft in, but it's just supported up there on a strap. So as the transmission goes down, that end of the drive shaft won't end up in the dirt. I've got the engine supported on a stationary jack. Uh, I, I think I'm roughly at the center of gravity here. This is where the about where the uh, rear support is on the adapter between the tran between the transmission and the transfer case. So I, I might be a little bit far back. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know quite how much the transfer case weighs, but if we are a little bit forward, I can put a secondary jack under the front there. And I'll know as soon as I start to go back if the whole thing, you know, wants to tip forward and lift off the wheels here, I'll know. And I have the transmission strapped to this, so no matter what happens, it won't come off. Uh, this wooden board is right up under where the mount, where the transmission mount plate would be. So I think I've got all of the electrical lines and hoses clear. Uh, till I can go down a couple inches. I'm going to place my secondary jack under the front of the bell housing uh, to make sure it doesn't tip forward when I come back and then I'm going to try to back it off the locating dowels on the engine. I believe I have all the bolts out and everything. I hope we're going to find out. So what we've got now is the front of the transmission. I got the load center back a bit far and the front of the transmission wants to go that way a little bit. And this is where if you had a real transmission jack with real adjusters, you could get it a little better. But to take some of the load off of this cheap adjuster, I'm gonna use my secondary jack, raise the front of the transmission up, and then that'll help loosen my adjuster a little bit so I can get it in the right position. So we're down. So how did it do this time? Well, I got the center of gravity off a little bit and I will admit that this combo weighs a lot, this trans and transfer case. But it ripped this, I have the front supported with this extra jack right now because it ripped the threads out of this screw. Well, the, the screw part is okay. It ripped the threads, some of the threads out of the hole. I'm gonna see if I can get in there and re-thread it, but I don't know. I can't get my Allen head in there to turn it because it's too tall. And well, I'm gonna see if there's any threads left. Well, if there's not, it's gonna be interesting getting this back up again. We will see. Well, well there doesn't appear to be much in the way of threads left. You can see they're, they've been ripped out there. You can see them in the threads in the screw. Well, hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably put it back up with two, two jacks. I don't know.
All right, so the transmission is back up in place. And I have two of the bolts holding it to the engine. I just got to put the support in. At the end, I just totally ended up taking out the transmission jack because, you know, it just ended up being totally useless for something this counter-weighted. It just, you know, if you have a lot of weight in the center, it seems to be fine, or even just a little bit longitudinally, but as soon as you get sort of counterbalanced, it wants to just throw force in the wrong directions. Just doesn't have a big enough base like the, uh, you know, the dedicated transmission jacks do. Just with this little plate here and then center pin of whatever kind you end up using, whether you use their pin or whether you use the bolt like I did. I mean, my bolt ended up ripping out because there was so much like twisting and lateral loads on it. It just failed miserably. Now that's not to say that, I mean, it came out okay. It's just uh, towards the end, you know, when, uh, when all that unbalanced weight of the transfer case hit it, you know, solidly, it just, and that was it. So, yeah, I mean, I could, I don't know, I might figure out something to make this work, but for normal transmissions, even heavy normal transmissions, it seems to work. But as soon as you put that transfer case on there with, you know, the weird load off the side, and it just doesn't like that at all. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out in some form. That's, that is why I do videos I try to help people out sometimes I try to be stupid but you know trying to help people out is my main goal right now we do appreciate you watching any likes comments questions I'm always open to them uh, I, I appreciate all of them I do read all the comments and I appreciate any input you can give us and as always thanks for watching So if you've ever wondered why your floor jack has this cup in the center with the raised outer edge, well, I'm going to answer that question for you today. The answer is because it makes a perfect cup holder. You can put your Dr. Pepper on there and it can't fall off the edge. You know, that's got to be what it's for, right? <laughs>